please be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Matronix makes several different types of tracks for their robots. This track is manufacturing part number 9985006 for the gray and 9985007 for the yellow. These tracks are the same and the only difference is color. They fit all robots with filters or bottom trays. Also note that some specific models use one long track and one short track. The short track is gray and is part number 9985015. Replacing the robot's tracks involves removing the side plate using a screwdriver. You can then lift the track up over one of the guide wheels using the screwdriver for leverage if it's needed. Remove the guide wheels and the pulley. You will also want to see if there is a hex pin inside of the pulley upon removing it. On robots with dual drive motors, there is a hex pin on both sides and only on one side for single drive robots. This is dependent on the functionality of the robot. This robot that we're using in the video also has what is called an active brush. This is an extra gear which needs to be connected at the same time as the pulley with the hex pin. Connect these so that the extra brush on the underside of the robot moves at the same time as the others. The active brush gear also gets locked down by a small cover. This cover has two teeth which fit onto each side. To ensure this cover is locked securely into place, use the butt end and give it a few taps. Replacing the old track could be confusing if you compare it against the length and quality of the older one. Some people may think that the older track is longer and that they may have ordered the wrong part, but this is not the case. The older tracks are stretched out from use and the quality of the rubber has degraded based on wear, the sunshine, and pool chemical exposure for a long time. At this point, reassemble the robot making sure that the guide wheels and pulley are secured. Realign the track and reattach on the rollers first, then go right up over the pulley located in the middle. Make sure you thread the track back in between and under each guide wheel as well. Securing the track under the second guide wheel could be a bit tricky as the track could be tight. If this is the case, go ahead and use the screwdriver as a lever and brace against the closest guide wheel. This is meant to be very tight, especially if the tracks are new. Lastly, line up the side plate with the holes inside of each guide wheel and strike it firmly to lock it into place. Do this first on the bottom, and then secondly up by the guide wheels. Make sure that everything sits down nicely and is in place. Your new track should be noticeably tighter. Tight to the point where fitting your fingers on the inside space is difficult. If you are deciding whether it's time for a track change out, our robot technician demonstrates with the older track how stretched out they can get. It's time to replace them if there's significant slack and you can fit your hand in that space like what is demonstrated in our video. It's important to also take notice of anything that potentially has or could get caught in the gears as it will stop them from moving as the new track will be that tight. Examples could be any of the packaging from the new parts or a fastener from swim goggles. If your robot has stopped moving for no apparent reason, it's very important that you investigate what might be holding it up. Here's a couple of extra tips. Our tech turns the robot upside down to demonstrate how tight both new tracks should be. It is hard to get a finger into that space versus almost your entire hand when it's time to change them out. Most of the time, replacing your tracks goes hand in hand with changing out your guide wheels and pulleys as they are part of the same system. For gunite pools, we advise changing these parts out annually or every other year. For fiberglass or vinyl liner pools, you typically can get several years of use. It is not advisable to run your robot with loose tracks as it will put unneeded stress on the motor and the robot will slip while moving if it moves at all. We are a Matronix certified genuine parts dealer. Genuine parts are what you always want to go with to keep your pool cleaner in its best condition. We have an on-staff robotic technician as well as a team of professionals who have many years of pool robotic cleaner experience. We would be happy to help advise and answer any questions that you may have. Visit our product page link in the description to purchase these tracks as well as many other parts. Thanks for watching.